Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Prapanna, a practicing hair restoration surgeon at Vcraft Cosmetics and Hair Implantation in Kormangla, Bangalore. The planning of the hairline is one of the most important steps in hair transplantation. The hairline is the most visible landmark and the quality of work of a surgeon is often judged by the quality of the hairline. Single hair grafts are used to create a natural hairline. To locate the ideal hairline in the bald patient, it is necessary to divide the face into three equal segments. In the midline, the hairline starts at least 8 cm from the glabella. A curve sweeps around the lateral side of the forehead from the center. At this point, the sides of the hairline should be oriented parallel to the curve when the subject is looking straight ahead. The lateral hairlines are usually 9.5 to 11.5 cm above the lateral canthus of the eyes. The temporal angles should form relatively sharp right angles or acute angles in most men, but these angles should be more rounded in women. The hairline shape also varies according to the variation of the shape of the face, round, oval or triangular. The patient's desires and constraints are also other factors that can affect the shape of the hairline. Usually, 250 to 300 single hair that is micro grafts will be necessary to create a new hairline in any individual. The micro grafts in the hairline should be placed in an irregular short tooth pattern of macro and micro irregularities to give a natural appearance. Behind the hairline, 2.5 follicular unit grafts are used to provide a new hairline. 3 or 4 hair units are used just further behind. The less ideal is the hair and skin characteristics, the more important it is to use smaller grafts. To give good density in alopecic recipient areas, some surgeons use punch grafts that are 1, 1.25 and 1.5 mm in diameter behind the hairline. The punch grafts have the advantage of removing a circular area of ball tissue where the grafts will be placed. These punch grafts should not be used in areas where hairs are already present as they would punch out the existing hair and the surgery will be counterproductive. Punch grafts are however to be useful in areas of total baldness.